I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to be discussing five reasons why musicians should know the basics of music technology slash production. So the first reason is self-promotion. Um, I see a lot of artists promoting themselves on both Facebook and Instagram and I feel like this is an excellent way to market yourself. However, I feel like the audio quality could be upped up just a little bit and um, there are simple ways to do this just by plugging in a microphone in to your iPhone or just placing your iPhone in a different location so you're avoiding a bunch of reverb slash background noise. If you have a nicer mic, you can actually pick up your vocals better overall. You can find these microphones on Amazon from $50, $300, whatever your budget is, um, there is a microphone for you. Reason number two, knowing the basics of music technology slash production is going to help you a ton when you enter studio settings. Not only will you be able to know mic placement and how to sing correctly into a mic, you'll also be able to know how to sing to a click track and you'll be a pro when it comes to time. Overall in a studio, you'll be able to do better and skip steps that beginners typically have to face. Reason number three, uploading covers. So we kind of touched on this one with um, number one, but if you know the basics around GarageBand and how to splice audio, GarageBand is a basic audio editing software. Um, Logic Pro is a step up from that, but if you know how to work GarageBand, you can easily transfer those skills to Logic Pro. And number four is equipment selection. When you're buying your own equipment, you want to know what is best for you and what sounds best with your voice. So for example, the Shure SM7B sounds great with male voices and it also sounds great with female voices, but it sounds better with male voices. If you're a female looking to invest into a microphone, maybe the Shure SM7B isn't the mic for you. Maybe you want to invest in more of a fancier microphone like AKG C14, but obviously if you're recording at home, you don't want to use something like the Shure SM7B. SM58 as that microphone is intended for live performances. And the fifth reason is just audio quality overall. When you get familiar with um, music technology and sound and compressors and reverb and EQing, you're able to detect things that the normal ear can't detect. Like you can detect what a roll off on the EQ is, you're able to detect higher frequencies, and you're able to easily discuss this with the people that you're working with especially when you're in the studio thank you guys for watching these are my five reasons as to why you should know the basics when it comes to music production slash music technology again my name is Allie McSwain I look forward to uploading with our new uploading schedule which is every Tuesday and Friday at 5 p.m. be sure to subscribe and hit the like button so that way you don't miss any new content when it comes out and be sure to check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at McSwain Music. Thank you so much and have a lovely day.